In this video, I'll show you how to create smooth audio keyframes in Premiere Pro. Hi everyone, I'm the Web Guru. I do tutorials on audio, video, and photography, so be sure to uh, comment and subscribe. So here inside of Premiere Pro, I have uh, an interview and some music, so let's listen to it. I love the animals. So right now the music is so loud, I can't hear the interview. So we're going to adjust the music volume using keyframes. So down here, what I'm gonna do, the music right now is on audio track three. I'm gonna increase the track height by going to the bottom of the track and then dragging the line to make it taller like that. And then in order to create keyframes, you can switch over to the pen tool. So the pen tool creates keyframes inside of the timeline. And then you'll want to look for the white line that goes across the music clip. And I'm going to create two keyframes. So I'll create one keyframe by clicking right on the white line, then another keyframe. And the second keyframe, I'm going to drag it down to around minus 25 or minus 30. So somewhere in that range is a good background volume. Now let's listen to this. I love the animals. <laughs> so that's much better. So you can see that the volume goes down. And these are linear keyframes, meaning that there's a straight line between them. We can make this even smoother. So I'm going to zoom in by dragging this little zoom handle here. And then on the first keyframe, I'll right click. And there are several options, but I recommend just using ease in and ease out. These are the easiest ones to use. Um, and when you're leaving a keyframe, you want to ease out and then you'll get a little handle on the right hand side. When you are entering a keyframe, you can right click and choose ease in. So you want to ease into the keyframe and then you'll get a little handle on the left. And so now it's actually become a nice S curve, which looks much smoother and nicer. And if you want to, you can even take the handle a little bit hard to see it's like a blue line with a little handle at the end and I'm going to um, drag that to the right you can also move it up and down to change the shape of the curve and then I'll do the same thing over here I'll take the handle and I'll modify it slightly so I'm changing the shape of the curve now if we listen to it I, I love the animals. okay so that's good I like it and now at the end of the interview, we want the music to come back. So I'll go here, I'm going to zoom in, and then uh, with the pen tool, I'll click once to create one keyframe. You have to click on the white line, then I'll click again, then the second keyframe, I'll drag it back to normal, which is zero. So once it comes back to zero, that will be normal. And now let's listen to it. And they are just precious. <laughs> so to make this a little bit smoother, I'm gonna, dra I'm gonna move the keyframe. So you can move them to the left and to the right. So I'm gonna drag this keyframe over. Um, I recommend holding down the shift key and that will lock in the volume like that. So now it'll be smoother. If I want, I can also adjust the shape by dragging these handles here. If you ever wanted to go back to normal keyframes, you can always right click these and go back to linear keyframes. And now you get your straight line, but I'll undo that because I like to have the uh, smooth curve between the two keyframes. And now let's listen. It's first and they are just precious. <laughs> this is good. I'm just gonna make one more change. I'm gonna shift drag this other keyframe like that. And now it'll be a little bit smoother. I've seen the pink ones first, and they are just precious. <laughs> okay, so I really like that. So by using the pen tool, creating keyframes, right-clicking and adding easing, and then adjusting the handles and moving the keyframes around, you can create some very smooth transitions in your audio. So hopefully that was uh, helpful to you. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe. I'll be creating lots more videos uh, like this. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning and growing.